Hey everyone! In this video, I'll teach you how to create a cookie video ad that will make your customers crave for more. I'll be showing you how I integrated the new rotation animation in this video ad and how I use it to create this cool looking transition. Let's start prepping first the cookie. Just hover to the sidebar and click photos. Then simply type cookie on the search bar. You can use any cookie available on the object panel. But for this video, I'll be using this one. Since the asset is already a cutout, we don't have to use the background remover this time. So we can then go straight to designing the first animation, which is the stop motion of this cookie being chopped on. The idea behind this animation is to show a sequence of this cookie bitten out until its last crumb. To do this bitten out effect, we'll be using a Canva feature called Draw. Start by placing the cookie on the center and scale it like so. Duplicate the page. And on page 2, start erasing a small part of the cookie. Just go to the sidebar and click the draw icon right here. Click the setting by hovering your cursor on this line icon. Then drag the slider all the way to the right. Click this color box and change it to white. You can start doing this and polish the pointed edges so the bite doesn't look flat. Duplicate page 2 and start erasing other parts. You can erase the other side this time so it's more dynamic and noticeable. Repeat this process until you reach page 6. Once you reach this page, have a piece that looks like this. You can start exporting your video as MP4. Pop it back to Canva, click Edit Video, and select Background Remover. Wait for a couple of seconds and there you have it. Before we can create a video ad for a cookie brand, of course, we need a brand name to start with. So I'll be needing some help from Canva's Magic Write. Simply press slash and click Magic Write. Let's type, give me 20 cookie brand names. Out of these suggestions, I'll pick this one, Crumble Cream. I also tried getting some tagline suggestions from Magic Right, but I just decided to go with my own idea. Crave until the last crumb. Now we have a brand and a tagline, so let's start designing our first scene. Go to the Canva homepage and click Video to make sure that we'll be using a video file with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Change the color of the background to beige. And type in Crave until the last crumb. I want to give it a bold and modern look, so in that case, I decided to use the typeface Gil Sans Display. Color it dark brown, then let's center it on the canvas. Despite its simplicity, I still want to make things a little bit dynamic. So let's have it left aligned. Then let's get our transparent cookie video we created earlier. Then put it on the center, on top of the text like so. Play it, and I think it looks good as is. I think we can still push the idea a little further by literally adding a last crumb. So let's hover to the sidebar and click photos. Then type cookie crumbs on the search bar. I think we can go with this one. Let's apply background remover to it to remove the background and the shadows. Lower the opacity of the video for now 
so we can see things clearly as we lay out the crumb. Let's crop this little piece here. Put it on this part of the text and tweak it as you please. Turn back the opacity of the video and select it together with the crumb. Right click on it and select show timing. Now go to the timeline and click this icon over here to reveal the timeline. Reduce the timeline of the cookie to leave some space for the crumb. Then finally, slide the timeline of the crumb to the right until it aligns with the end part of the cookie and make sure they're not overlapping. Play it and here's your first scene. Go to the timeline and press this plus icon or add page to create a new page. This is the part we revealed the logo of Crumble Crave. So using the same typeface, let's simply type Crumble Crave in all caps. Then let's have it left aligned again. Once more, I want to highlight the idea of Crave until the last crumb and the logo itself. And for me, the closest way to show a crumb on the logo is by adding a period after Crave. That's looking good. Let's make sure it's centered and we can scale it up a little bit as well. I really want the audience to crave at this point. And the best way to do it is to show them the good stuff. The cookies. So let's find a tasty looking video of a cookie this time. Simply click videos on the sidebar like so and type cookies on the search bar. Canvas tons of cookie videos in the library so you have a great time exploring them. But just make sure that your chosen video shows cookies that look like your initial video from scene 1. To save some time, I already prepared a cookie video we'll be using for this tutorial. Right click on it and select replace background. Obviously, we have to change the color of the logo so it can stand out against the video. So let's change it to white and maybe add a little shadow as well by adding a left effect. Now, let's design scene 3. Add a new page and let's change the background to dark brown to shake things a little bit. Then, let's use this cookie again. Duplicate it and lay them out like this. We can add the text in the scene to make it more engaging. So using the same typeface, let's type ate that and left no crumbs. Now I want to make the text circular to replicate the form of the cookie. So let's simply select the text, click effects on the top bar, and select curve. Feel free to repeat the text to make it full circle. and adjust the curve slider accordingly like so. Scale it like this and place it on the center. Now add another page for our final scene and let's make the background beige again. Now let's add our favorite cookie again, blow it up like this, and place it on the bottom part of the frame. This scene will be our CTA or call to action. So let's make it straightforward and type order now. I just feel that the current CTA is a bit lacking. So to make it more interesting, we can tie it to the idea of our tagline by adding and leave no crumbs below. Finally, let's stop the scene off by placing the logo on top of the frame. Just change the color to dark brown, remove the lift effect, and there you have it. Now we're done designing our scenes. And let's proceed to animations. We don't have to touch page 1 anymore since the cookie video is already doing the animation. 
so let's jump straight to page 3. On this page, we have a handful of things to animate. We can add rotate to the cookies and shift animation to the text on top of another rotate. If you want to learn more about the new rotate animation, feel free to check my other video tutorial for it. Now select the left cookie, click animate, and select rotate animation. We want our cookie to rotate counterclockwise. So simply select this counterclockwise icon. Feel free to adjust the slider if you want it to rotate faster or slower. But for now, let's keep the speed all the way down. Then add the same animation and setting to the other cookie. Now add rotate on the text as well, but make it clockwise this time to add the contrast. Then add shift text animation. Select on enter. Set the speed to its maximum. Choose the word writing style. And there you have it. On page 4, apply the same animation to the cookie, but make it clockwise this time. Let's add typewriter animation to order now. Set the animate setting to on enter. And choose word writing style again. Finally, for the logo and subtext, Let's just cut them in by adjusting their timeline. Let's make the subtext appear before the logo to create a little anticipation in the end. I use three different transitions in this video ad. First one is mask transition. The second is a simple circle wipe transition. And finally, my favorite match and move transition. Let's go back to our pages and start with the mask transition. Now, if you'll notice on this panel, the mask transition button is not here at all. That is because it's not a transition per se, but a hack using a combination of different features. To set this up, go to page 2, then put the page solid on top of everything. Select the solid, then on the toolbar, simply select animate and select create an animation. Then at this point, Select the solid again, hold shift, then drag it all the way to the right until it leaves the frame like so. As you can see, the animation is janky. So let's go over the movement styles and select steady. And there's your first part. Copy the tagline from page 1 to page 2 and leave it as is for now. Now let's get our favorite cookie again and place it on the center. Blow it up like this and move it to the left over the frame, leaving a little piece like this sneaking on the edge. And apply create an animation again. Zoom out a little bit like this to give yourself some space. Click the cookie or whatever's left of it. Hold shift then move to the right until it goes off frame. Make it smooth again by applying steady. We want to make it roll. So let's simply apply rotate and set it to clockwise and set its speed to maybe 80%. As you can see, the mask transition is already working. But let's not forget to fix the text behind. Hit position and start selecting all the text layers while holding control or command on your keyboard. Right click on the text then select show timing. Hover to the timeline and click this little arrow again to reveal the layers. The tagline should cut to the logo once the cookie reaches the center. So let's drag the tagline's timeline toward the middle followed by the logo. And we're good. On to the next transition. Just click this transition icon between pages 2 and 3. Select circle wipe. Adjust the duration. And set the direction to out. Finally, we'll be using the most loved match and move transition. So I want this cookie to move from the center towards the bottom. Let's add the new page on this one like so. And adjust its duration 2.9 seconds. Then copy paste the cookie from the last page to this one. Move it to the center. Shrink it like so and rotate it counterclockwise a little bit. Select the transition icon between the frame, then add matching move. And there you have it. Finally, let's add a circle wipe on page 3. 
set it to out again. On page 4, add pop animation to the cookie, select on enter, and reduce its speed to 15%. Do some final retouching on the duration and speed. And you're done. I hope you've learned something today and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave some comments. And if you love this video, I am pretty sure you'll like my other tutorials flashing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.